Well, let's check this shit out, because I swear there's meant to be a DLC. Oh, thank you for playing Grand Theft Auto Online. To help keep the experience fun for everyone, we encourage you to read our community guidelines. You can put violations of the guidelines in the online tab of the post menu. <laughs> <coughs> guidelines. <laughs> Safe community. <laughs> no, no, no. You're in a safe community, just don't live on the earth. By the way, if I'm going to try this DLC to actually dive more into the actual, well, DLC, other than just doing all the missions that come out and then just playing that, I want to, like, buy the business, well, I do buy the business, but, you know, uh, upgrades, vehicles, uh, map change, oh, wait, uh, we, don't, we don't get map change, oh, fuck, uh, my, my, my outfit from the movie, uh! oh, oh. This is Maud Eccles calling from Canine Renditions, the very best bounty hunting business out of Sandy Shores. Hi, I got a proposition for you, and I'll keep it short and sweet. I'm looking to hand over the reins. If you catch my drift and pass the baton to a hungry bounty hunter looking to spread their wings, that's where you come in. I'm gonna need somebody to open another office for me. Mm -mm. This is a ripe opportunity for a young, cash-rich bounty hunter like yourself to run their very own bail enforcement agency. Now, I'll supply some of the staff and expertise. You just pick your favorite property off Maze Bank and... Pull the trigger. Right. I'll take the most fuck off you can't. I'll take your finest establishment. And when I say finest, I mean your your most expensive. I, I have ten million dollars. I, I, there's been nothing to spend on for the past two months. So uh, yeah, let's go and get this bail office, as they call it. Wait, okay. Let me see and guess which one it is on that. Uh, yeah, these things with handcuffs. Oh, I bet that's the most expensive ones are. Right, well, I'll, I'll get the most expensive one, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, agents. Uh, too busy defending yourself in court to catch criminals today? Then hire skilled enforcement agents to carry out some work on the side. Give responsibility, take in. Give the responsibility, take the profit. Oh, fair enough. Let's get two agents, thank you very much. They can, I don't know what they'll do. That, that's probably vote money. Yeah. I'm guessing that's vote, vote money. I don't know. Personal quarters, why not? Gun locker, why not? Even have like five of them by now. Oh, that's the most expensive, oh, 4.7 mil, fair enough. Part of the bottom dollar DLC. Damn. This is literally pretty much just a cops of crook out day at this point. This is the most expensive one. Why not? Five mil. Oh, I can't buy now. What? Well, to complete the do complete slush fund as part of the clock and bell farm raiders leader. Way. Fuck that then. I'm right near my um bell and force. Uh, I'm right near my bell office. I'll get that later on when James comes on because I ain't gonna be a full solo video. Don't worry. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, James, for saying you come on and make me look like an idiot. Yeah, yeah. That that was real nice. It's gonna be a full solo video. It's, uh, but don't worry, it's still good. Oh, but action scene, action. second okay just got a couple things to go over with you oh and I want to introduce you to someone you'll be working with see you soon okay thank you for that guys no time to use my old bike by the way my, my first ever vehicle I ever bought in GC Online AK the first ever vehicle I ever used on this channel I bought it in my first video I literally bought this vehicle in my first don't you fucking remember I, I bought this vehicle in my first video and now I'm using it again do you know why because it's gonna be in the movie guys it's back in that movie prop. It is black though, not red like I ordered it, but that, that's for a reason. Yes, of course. It wouldn't fit my character. No, absolutely. Not the way I dress anyway. Uh, let's do this then. That's why I'm wearing red trench coat. It just looks Whatever. cool. Let's go. Let <coughs> Alright, uh, let's do this then. Let's go. Um. <coughs> 
Oh, uh, it could be you. Could be. Uh... Okay. All right, then. Let's do this. Let's go. Let me in! Oh, I talked to the door and said a blue circle that was literally highlighting where to go. How you doing, honey? You the new owner? <coughs> Maud. I'm Maud. I know you can't tell, but I'm thrilled to meet you. Takes a savvy investor to jump on an opportunity like this one. The price reflects our top-tier personnel. Uh, just g g give me a second here. Now, you don't look much like a what bail the? enforcement agent, but who the hell does? <laughs> One should never judge a bounty hunter by their cover, no matter how weird or scrappy or downright psychotic. <laughs> now, I gotta wrap up here, but my daughter Jeanette should be around here somewhere. Jeanette! Get out here and meet the new owner. They're here. She's very excited to start running an office all by herself. She'll take care of all the sourcing and paperwork for you since I won't be around. Oh, Fudge. Think of her as your very large, very loud shadow. Hey there. Hi. Jeanette Eccles, Jr. What assistant the? bounty hunter at your service and chopping at the bit. Mama says I'm supposed to help you with whatever you need so I can learn about how, you know, all this works. And, well, who better learn from than somebody with a resume like yours? I reckon. Paul. Well, yep, working on it. Gonna take it home with me, too, so I can keep it up while I watch Underbelly of Paradise. Okay. Proud of you. Take him back there, honey, and make him feel at home. There's a sale over at Dawn's Country, so Mama's gonna head out in a few, then you'll be on your own. Welcome to your new bottom dollar bail enforcement office. Jeanette will take good care of you. Okay, so all this back here is yours, baby. Okay, first things oh, well. first. This is a bounty hunting gig. No, bail enforcement, because, you know, if you kill them, it's a whole thing, right? I mean, we got procedures for stuff like that, because Mama's new boyfriend works down at the morgue, but you definitely, definitely want to try to bring him back alive, because then I got to deal with all the blood and dead body parts in the van, and I'm sure you don't mind, but it's kind of a hygiene issue, and <sighs> get you a new one of those. Anyway, they pay more for the live ones, and you like money, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> all right, let me show you how we do all this. Okay. I'm leaving. Training wheels are officially off, Jeanette. Make me proud. I'll see you at home, Ma. Bacon, mac, and cheese later, right? I'm on it. Uh, don't forget your ball. No, honey. Oh, deserves a nice retirement. I'm just glad she's finally letting me hail this. Oh, how we will we will. Shami no dikwam we. How mommy too. I need pictures and whatnot to really get stuff, you know? And as your official assistant, I will always have a little slideshow uploaded right there on your computer of all your targets. All you gotta do is choose your target. Oh, and, uh... I got you. After that, okay, just I like get them and I like it, I like here it. and take them to that holding cell up front. That's it. Easy. Now let's seal the deal. Come on. Oh no. We're a team, okay? I'll take this. And uh, if you need anything else, I got it. What have I got myself into? Uh, at least it's free.
chocolates. Uh, Richard's boss to access the bone enforcement system. Hang on. Yeah, there's a safe. That's what those uh, agents going to be for, definitely. Um, so, let me just check the career progress thing real quick, as there is now bottom dollar back. Yeah. What can we get from here? That's pretty cool. Secure or eliminate a uh, bounty target. Oh, that's pretty cool jacket, though. I can't lie. Is that like a taser skin? Uh, oh, the bottom dollar. Did you get that vest? Oh, yeah. You can kind of, you can kind of get like a new like vest to try to dress a bit like a police. Alright, sec secure or eliminate most wanted bounty target three days in a row. Ah, so I'm guessing each day is going to be like a most wanted. Ah, I see, I see, I see. A secure or eliminate ten bounty targets without losing a life. Fair enough. Secure or eliminate five bounty targets. Okay, I see, I see, I see how it is. I mean, to be fair, I, I love bounty hunting Red Dead Online. That's one of my favourite things to do. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, here are my agents. Look at this. So this is our agency your bail enforcement agents can be assigned to work f to earn additional income that will be stored in your safe yeah i knew it i knew it go do work does this have to come up to you and tell you i hired you for a reason why do i have to sure right, go so that's what i send them manually so it's not oh Wow, they they really had to do that just so the guy could walk out of us well, while I was seeing it. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. All right. So you got four fugitives and what they're worth. The real nasty ones are worth more money, but the little shits are fewer and further between. Ideally, we gotta hand them over alive for the full payout, but mistakes happen, you know. At least Murph, Ma's boyfriend at the morgue, can handle the uh, messier ones. We'll still get paid, but it'll be a cut to the money, so best keep them wriggling. <laughs> I'll update this database regularly with what I know. So just log on in and see who we got out there. Not gonna lie, when I first saw this girl, she looked like Tracy. You know, Michael's uh, daughter. So these are four bounties for today, are they? Colby Wright, LJ Ha, Riley Rose, and Grace Whitney. Grace Whitney, I'm coming for you with that right now. I'm yeah, it turns out I ain't ever coming for her because, uh, well, I, I forgot that she existed and I kind of forced to do her bounty uh, that day, so, you know, I had to do the most wanted bounty the next day, so, yeah, no no Grace Whitney this episode, but uh, trust me, I think it's for the best because the kind of sequence that we get going on with the most wanted bounty at the end of the video, I think you're gonna like it. 400 videos, bro. They got his order wrong. Okay, and now yeah. he's just got out. If we don't find him and claim the reward, someone else will. That reminds me, actually, we've got no new missions from Benson, I'm pretty sure. Like, we can do new work from here. I'll figure out how to do that, but... Let's secure this target. My phone's been blowing up with news of this guy. Has Colby it? Wright's now officially a federal fugitive. That means there's a federal manhunt underway. Broke out of the prison bus earlier today, right after chewing the faces off of everyone else on board. Oh, okay. So the trail's hot. Better get on the fast if you want to track them down. I'll try. Oh, I'm in the wrong way. Yeah, look, like, I think everyone's come together and agree. Oh, oh, yeah, no, okay, yeah, oh, 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 Damn, me and James used to do a fucking shitty roleplay thing. We made it a series as well. It was on my old old channel, which is now deleted. Then there's the Red Nation scene there. It was brought back memories. Everyone's come together and agreed that this is pretty much like Cops and Crooks, but like refans. So if you remember, they were going to do a DLC a couple of years ago. I think it was back on 2020, 2019, 2021, something like that. All Cops and Crooks, but then all the stuff happened, you know, that year to do with Cops. I know that, I think they just cancelled it, and now they're revamping it, but like, without actually calling it Cops and Crooks. Instead they're calling it Bottom Dollar Bounties, because that's, well, the type of payment that, that we're going to get. Oh. I don't have my feet not damaged, so, oh, apart from that little bit of that. Investigate the bloody clothes. Oh yeah, we're buying behind, we actually got to do this stuff, right. Alright, what's going on here? To investigate the bloody clothes, right? Let's investigate the shit. So, how the hell do we arrest him without like oh, shooting him? I'll just shoot his foot, shall I? Alright, it's gonna be him over here. We, well, we know he's not wearing. Oh, this arm is good to go. Ah! What the? 
This is the guy. I didn't even get to read what it said. Oh, I'm stun gun. Oh, fucking charger. How many bullets? How do I disarm him? Now I said I was going to shoot you in the face so I can uh, see how it would be to, you know, see how much money I would lose. But uh, ah fuck, I'm still going to do that. Well, that was crazy. Oh, hello you. Well, I recognize you. I recognize him, I don't know why. Do you see that dead scent off? Hi, welcome. I heard bottom dollar bail enforcement just flatlined its first bounty. First one's always tough to bring in alive. But there's always next time, right? Jeanette said you're a real nice boss, too. Didn't yell at her once. <laughs> Seems like you two got a nice thing going. Um. She finds the bounties, you bring them in. I watch my shows in peace. Thanks again. You should call me from. Fuck off. But yeah, this is kind of seems to remind me of Chop Shop for some reason. I don't know why, but what I mean is like you go on a website, choose this thing, go out and do it, but except there's less work, but for less pay, but then you know, that makes sense. Oh, what the? I didn't see this. Doors we can walk through without it having to do a cutscene. The garage is used to store and modify the bell transporter. You can also request it, uh, for it to be delivered to your location via the managed vehicle selection. Ah. Nice. That did it for me. I don't know what that as well. There we go. Red. Just like everything I own has to be red. What's she gonna say now when I walk in? Yeah, she didn't say anything. Okay, I'm starting to warm up. Did we step you. on the LSPD's toes with that last target? Probably. Do we care? Absolutely not. Alright, so uh, I don't know how long I actually have to wait. I think every day they must change. If if you don't want to read that, it's absolutely garbage because there's no way you get this much money in a week. That'd be no, that'd be mean. So I'm definitely change every day. Well, going I said do one of these every day. I'm guessing they change every day, which is nice. Don't forget, I was filming this the literal hour this DLC came out, so I didn't know that they actually reset. Well, every hour, which is nice little fun fact for you guys. Three days later, yeah. A local biker gang. You know anything about biker gangs? Well, this ain't the cute cookout kind. More the run over your dog and shoot out your kneecaps kind. Riley Rose, three counts robbery with aggravated assault. Mm. You should see what she did to these clerks. She bosses around a bunch of leather-clad men, and not in a fun way, <laughs> in a, you know, criminal way. Sounds like I'll be getting... What the fuck? Yeah, I'm surprised they're really sitting during the game. Is that just a thing that we do? Well, they really... Oh, my... Oh, yeah, no. Doesn't really matter if it's a thing they're doing now, because, well, we've got, like, one June update left, I'm pretty sure. That's next year if, if GTA 6 really is coming out in um, September, October, and November next year. Which is what I'm hearing from uh, Rockstar Games themselves, pretty much. Yeah, well, the thing is, I don't, I'm not sure if they're going to continue updating GTA or not after GTA 6. I'm assuming they will, but I really don't know. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. I'm assuming they will, but um, oh, I really don't know. Yeah, I've not had long as videos going to be either, by the way. Yeah, I'm trying to do more slow-paced videos. Well, I, I've always kind of been a slow-paced kind of guy, if you know what I mean. Like, I, I never, like, do f 500 cuts a second or, you know, have yell in your face all the time or do all those flash heads and or whatever. I like to just kind of have long 
long, not long, long dragged out clips, but you know, add character to the video. You know, not instead of just doing the same thing over and over again, being repetitive about the whole. Well, like I said, all the cuts, all the music in the background, all the fucking flashy effects on your screen and all that. I just like to have slow-paced videos, just so it can feel very rewarding at the end or whatever. It's kind of like what Mr. Beast has said. But the thing is, I was doing that before he even said that, but I completely agree with him. It's why I like Mr. Beast so much now. Now I just like Mr. Beast, because he, he came out on Twitter and said about he likes slow pace videos and he likes to uh, want to start doing that more. I, I, I completely agree with that. That's what I've been doing for a while now. I'm not saying he copied me, obviously, because there's no fucking way in hell he copied me. He, he didn't copy me, copy me at all. But I, I've just always kind of been like that. So, I, I don't know how long this video is going to be out. The reason I'm bringing this up is because my last video on a GTA DLC was 40 minutes long, and that was on the Cracking Bell video. So, I have no idea how long this one's going to be, but if it's around 40 minutes again, just, yeah, sorry for being me, I guess. Found it, but how the hell do I get to it? He's literally, like, staring right at it. <coughs> yeah, I, uh, I just called the camera here. Hmm, yeah. That was a thing I just did. Yeah, 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 hmm. I I think my head might there might be something wrong with it. I don't know. Can't be sure. No, I'm probably overthinking this. It's just a skull cut it out. <sighs> okay, well, let's go deal with him then. Alright, I completed the Vincent Slush Fund mission, meaning hopefully now I can get the uh Yeah yeah, it's got five mil. Alright, uh Bail office, obviously. <laughs> I spent five million on the car. I should have enough money to at least make it look a little bit better. So let's do that now. I completely forgot to mention this in the video, so I'm just going to let, uh, let everyone know now that doesn't know. Um, the reason I wanted to get this car so much, and also now I'm just customising it. I've got, I didn't customise it, I just need the car, but I just customised it for the fun. But, you need this car, basically, to start these dispatch missions from Vincent, which are basically vigilante missions, hence the name of the video. I'm Bounty Hunter and Vigilante. <laughs> same thing, pretty much, but kind of different. One does it for money, one does it for justice. But yeah, as I was saying, um... This is how you start those missions, so that's why I got the car in the first place, just so I can do those missions. So yeah, sorry I didn't explain in the video. Vincent. 
Any moment now, you receive a set of coordinates. Wait, wait. This is where our targets were last spotted. Uh. Heads up, these aren't just petty criminals you're dealing with. They're protected by the LSB. Oh. Oh God. Really? All right. Let's go. Let's move it, move it, move it, move it, people, move it, move it. Whoa! <laughs> we did it. Uh, 25 grand. I love that. But now that that's out of the way, I got two bounties to deal with. But it means it's the next day, so I don't know if it's to be air or not. So uh, I guess we'll just go find out. Let's go. I started a joke, which started the whole world crying. Sure. But I didn't see that the joke was on me sure i started to cry which started the whole world laughing and if i'd only seen that the joke was on me i looked to the skies Running my hands over my eyes. Oh, hi, guys. Who the fuck are you? That was not who I was meant to go after. Yeah, oh, whatever. Who the fuck guess Right. Uh, ooh. All right, Markwell. Markwell. I'm going after you, and I'm going to go after this top dollar mo fucking bitch. This guy was safe and sound in prison for driving his car through a birthday party. Imagine my surprise when he popped up on the database. <laughs> I near spat out my sprunk. <laughs> See, you spitting out my sprunk. You got the location? <laughs> That's where our guy slipped the freaking prison bus. Not the first time Markel's jumped bail or bust out of jail. With his shit, he should have been strapped to a gurney with the dog muzzle on. Oh, okay. The manhunt is going to be all over Weasel News, but if we get in there first, we can make a fortune selling him back to the authorities. Don't ask how I'm here, I just am. But, um. So. This feels like the same kind of mission. Oh my god. This feels like the same kind of mission. Uh, that's the first one I did. I don't know why. Just. Uh, prison bus, right? Did you guys like that action sequence, by the way? You know, do you guys like the uh, change in action sequences, by the way? 
you know, uh, in this video, I'm not sure if you know this, but uh, that like little uh, mo motorcycle club uh, last MC bike clubhouse fight. Like, come on, man, that, that, that's pretty, you know, no, there's anything different about that. <laughs> Rockstar is like, and uh, that fight with Vargo. <laughs> okay, I'm just watching it too hard. Yes, I'm, I've now learned how to use Rockstar Editor. That's also why we're going to be reshooting half the movie. Which, by the way, is going to play a big part in our movie. So, when you see the trailers and you see a lot of gameplay footage, I try, I, I, I'm telling you, it's not all going to look like that. Trust me. Most of it, most of the action scenes and some talking scenes will be. A lot of it really is going to be Rockstar Editor. I promise. It's just, like I said, by the time I was going to go edit the trailer, we already lost all the footage from Rockstar Editor. So that's the whole reason we're going to re be refilming it. I've just, you know, so that kind of annoyed me. I feel like I could have done, made it look a lot better with Rockstar Editor. But trust me, a lot of the scenes you've seen in that trailer is going to be Rockstar Editor. And when we start talking about my movie, I'm just going to start talking about the update. Because right now, I think the update's alright. I, I mean, it's what I'd expect. Let's, it's a bit more, I'll say this, it's a bit more than what I would have expected. I thought, you know, well, especially after last summer update, I wasn't really expecting anything. But this, I mean, as similar as it is to the Chop Shop DLC, I think it's actually alright. You know, they did good for what they could do, given that they're, you know, literally every fucking resource is on GTA 6 right now. I think they did pretty alright. Like 24 bounties a day, I think you can do it. I don't know if they're daily or whatnot. Or if it's like hourly, but something like that. All this dispatch missions. I mean, at the end of the day, we all know it's the same thing. Go, go here, shoot these people, and then leave the area or whatever. But like, what do you expect them to do after 10 years? Like, what do you expect them to do? Like, you know. That's kind of how it's been for all the past updates. You know, I don't know why people just started bringing it up now. From what I'm seeing on Twitter, people are only literally bring it up now. Well, more than I've ever seen them do before. But I, I think it's, you know, people are complaining about the money making. But at this point, is it really about the money? Because, well, like, I don't know about you, but I own every business in the game. And I can just do anything I want to make money at this point. So I'm playing more of these DLCs just for the fun. Like, and most of you guys, I'm pretty sure, have most businesses, or at least have, like, a sacker to do K Perico or, like, Nightclub or whatever. Those are, like, if you want to make money, do them. Don't be playing this bank. Don't be playing this DLC. If, if that's what your main, main goal is to, to do, is make money, then, yeah, maybe this isn't for you. But I think for most players, we have all the money that we ever need. We don't, like, really need money anymore. And if we do, we have any business in the world to do that. I I just start playing more of these businesses of fun. Like I think the Chop Shop DLC was pretty fun. I thought the uh, Chicken House DLC was uh, actually pretty fun as well. I actually like that one a lot. I think that was definitely my, one of my. I think that was definitely my favourite DLC since the contract. Because the contract, oh, the contract. That is my favourite DLC of all time. That was just pure peak. Especially like right after we got the snow. Right. Oh. Oh, okay. Guess we're here now. Alright, well, you get my point. I'm just going to start investigating this shit now and then uh, talk later.
fucking hell, Marky. You would not go down, would you? Jesus Christ, the amount of times I tried to hit him. I just kept moving back, moving back. Jesus Christ. <sighs> that was annoying. I should have just got a business out here at this point, by the way. They're going so far just for these fucking things. Which one is it? Who's oh, shooting me? Ah. Uh. Oh, that's fine, we'll lose them. You're going away for a long time, bitch. I am in pain. I have a bullet hole in the back of my head. Yep. Well, I need a new outfit. You know, I don't think this bottom dollar bounty outfit's doing it for me. I reckon we go back to the good old classic, my style outfit. Because that's how we win things. Remember my style. Do you guys remember my first ever outfit on a channel? Oh, I actually went my first ever channel. But it's my old, old main outfit. You guys might not remember it, but I fucking do. And I'm going to put it on right now. Oh yeah, we got that shit. My old old outfit. Literally like, well, not my old, like my first ever outfit actually. Like I was saying, I decided to go with something a little different. My old professional outfit, like, my old main outfit is like red hoodie and all that stuff. But I don't think I'm gonna wear that again. It's not my style anymore, is it? I'm more professional kind of guy. Look at me though, with the old face paint and everything. Ah, I'm ready to go catch the final bounty of the day. What's her name? I don't know, but she's the most dangerous banger on the list, apparently. Let's go take her down. Cleo. Cleo? Okay, Cleo. I'm coming for you, bitch. <laughs> I 
That was a very long fight. I ran out of body armor rages ago. Yeah, yeah, you turn the other way, bitches. That, not how it works, sweetheart. Huh. Well, that was nice. You're a nobody. You know that? A nobody. Take it down. I'm more of a somebody than you'll ever be, ma'am. And that's all it takes. I don't need to be a big famous movie star, a big famous YouTuber, a big famous anything. As long as I'm somebody who actually has morals, unlike you, that's enough for me. Anyway, hello, Agent Bob. Sure. How about you go do some work? Adrian Jeffrey? Go fuck how about you go do some work? Nobody wants to hear him. How about you how about you go do some work? You're such a dick. La 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 I'm not listening. You know, Ma says the Eckle family always had bounties in their blood. Okay. But if you go back far enough, yep. who's hunting and yep. who's hiding yep. starts to get real blurry. Okay, I'm gonna go oh, now. Yeah, Thank you. Yep, yeah, okay. Huh? Yeah, Maybe peace out you two, yeah. Pe peace out everyone! Hi, yeah, the video's not over yet, I just want to talk to you real quick, because, yeah, as you may notice, this video was, <laughs> look, get the fuck out of the way, the quality of this video was absolutely godlike, Com well, compared to my other videos, anyway, you know, I've never had a video look that good before, and, uh, <laughs> trust me, you're gonna get a lot of that in our movie, but, uh, this ain't a movie promotion, no, 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 this is a, uh, this is just a talk about why it was this good, and why I put this much effort into it. This is actually my 400th video, which is crazy. Like this video is my 400th video. I know it's like not crazy milestone or anything, not like 500, not like 600, not thousand or anything like that. But 400 is the most videos I've ever had on one channel before. Like usually I do got your channel, I get up to around 100 or 150 videos, and I end up I end up deleting them all. I end up deleting the entire channel or something like that. And uh, this time. I don't know why I just decided to keep doing YouTube and uh, I think the reason that is because of you guys and if you wonder what I mean I know YouTubers say this all the time but you guys have actually been really good to me like some of the people I get in my live stream chats or in my comments or just overall just anywhere you guys are great honestly you guys and subscribing to me you're like you guys I'm, I'm talking about like your comments the stuff you say the stuff you do like in terms of subscribing liking videos and all that like I know that doesn't like 400 subscribers I know that doesn't sound like a lot for me that really means a lot because it means 488 people decided to take time out of their day to press that subscribe button or like my video or view my videos or view my streams you're taking time out of your day and wasting it on this pathetic thing so that really means a lot and that's the reason why I've gone up that I'm just you know so thankful and why I've gone up to 400 videos is because of you guys I know you should have said it all the time but honestly I really mean it so thank you you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time peace out